Good morning. This is me and Queen here, Life After Money blog. Um, making a little video today about what I make my arts and crafts with. Where do I get my materials from? Well, I like to do a lot of recycling and most of my materials are rubbish that other people have thrown away. So what am I doing here today? I'm taking apart the edging from a hessian sack. Um, I found this hessian sack. I did pay a couple of quid for it, but it's a really big one. It's a really thick one. I could use that for various arts and crafts projects, um, making a, a peg rug. Um, oh, lots of things. So. I've cut the edge off this and now I am pulling the edge apart as a little bit from the corner so people might think this is just rubbish but I look at it and think no it's not rubbish I can make something with this so now I am taking it apart and recovering all the components if you like of what it's made up of so I could use these at a later date for my arts and crafts projects um, I think if you are a creative person you do need a collection of different kinds of materials you need to keep them handy um, close by because because they these actually talk to me <laughs> it sounds crazy I know but at some point these will tell me what I've got to do with it um, I probably won't be using them immediately maybe even in a year's time but you can't be creative if you haven't got the raw materials close by so this is how I work anyway so the materials I get from skips, charity shops, um, people give me anything. So they tell me what I've got to use it for. So all this will be taken apart and um, broken down to the separate components. Right, so you don't have to pay a lot of money for your materials if you want to do arty and crafty stuff. What else have I got? I've got a bag full of electrical bits and bobs, electrical wires, that used to be Christmas lights. Well, you know, once the Christmas light set up has stopped working, it's a bit of a job to find out where the problem is. So I just take it apart and then I will use that wire. I sometimes take apart electrical gadgets <laughs> electrical gadgets I took apart a video recorder and what you find is can you see that mother what you find in electrical bits and bobs is something like that and that has got some very fine wire wrapped around it so I will unwrap that and use that wire for threading beads, uh, it can be stitched onto fabric for any craft work you're doing. There you are. Unravel it off that little reel and there you are. You've got something you can use and it was free because you took it out of a broken well I took it out of a broken video so there you are so I've got all these these bits and bobs this wire um, I've got here as well a few pieces of broken umbrella a few spokes out of the umbrella I mean, we, we all have broken umbrellas don't we at some times our umbrellas will break so these are quite short pieces but I will save them because they will come in useful for something 
somewhere. Talking of umbrellas, I've just made these flowers. So I've just made some flowers and the I've made these before and I've made them with old knitting needles but I haven't got any knitting needles left so I thought what else have I got that will do the same job and parts of a broken umbrella all right I hope these are in shot for you to see so then I save plastics as well I think I've done a video about this somewhere so I save plastics um, bits of wire and put these in your pots and they look nice in the garden there you are broken umbrellas can be used for something talking about um, wire from electrical things I've made this picture from parts of a computer and I've put this onto a canvas a second hand canvas that costs 50p so I've painted it black and I've screwed down these computer pieces and I did a few bits and bobs there's some plastic spiders and there's some red blood and I made a picture there for hmm, virtually nothing I did find the spiders <laughs> I found the spiders in the street I love finding three free free things now someone's given me quite a few of these these little brown carrier bags and I thought what could I use them for I think they're actually originally used for takeaways I never have takeaways but um, there you are so YouTube is my friend I look on YouTube to see what people are doing and then I use similar ideas to make something similar so my brown bags are going to be turned into a journal now I'm not taking a lot of care with this journal because it's an experiment and to be honest I'm not really a fan of journals but it's good practice to um, create something out of nothing so I've got a few pictures I've stuck on um, a bit of paint on it a bit of stitching on it and there you are it's not quite finished yet a um, bit of more colouring to do let's just stick pictures on I've painted it all anything I've just I've just written a piece there I've stitched down it with um, zigzag stitch on the machine um, I put some glitter on um, I've stitched a bit of felt on there I've done a bit of machine embroidery there which is not brilliant but it's practice you could do these things for practice I'm not brilliant at this but it's a good idea to use them as practice pieces this one I quite like that actually you see that I've used some uh, wool the wool that you use for needle felting or wet felting so I pulled a few pieces of wool apart I've glued it on and then I've added some glue with glitter in it and I think that's really really nice I really like that so that you see that is a technique I might use on another project later on and I've got a bit of spray paint so I've spray painted there um, as I say this is something I can play with sit at the table for 20 minutes or so and add something to it and the materials cost a few pennies so I like skip diving and finding rubbish I used to be a volunteer for the scrap store and it was my job to go into factories and ask if they've got any rubbish and mostly they would say well you can look in the bin but it's only rubbish so I would look in the bin and I'd say no it's not rubbish we can use this 
So factories that make something, that manufacture something, they have offcuts, they have ends of lines and materials that they don't use. So I would go in there and fill my car up with what they would call rubbish, take it back to the scrap store and then people would come and have a look and take whatever they needed for sometimes for their children's class, sometimes for their group use, but uh, I've just seen these look. What do you think that is? These are small pieces of metallic, plasticky, turn them over. They used to be tubes of hair colouring. And when I finished, I, I colour my hair about three times a year, uh, just to keep it bright. <laughs> the colours I use are only a pound each. So, if you finish with one of these, cut it open, clean it, wash it, have a look and see what's inside. This can be cut up into small pieces for embellishment, for your sewing projects. Um, this one is toothpaste. Um, it's got a silver inside. You can make small things out of that. Add it. So you need a good selection. If you're going to be creative, you need a good selection. You need to start a collection of bits and bobs which you think might become useful at a later date. I've uh, just finished this project here, which I'll show you. This is a picture for the wall, and that's upside down. <laughs> it's upside down, and the only way you can tell it's upside down is I put my name on the bottom. But um, what have we got here? This is. Uh, Chrome spirals, found these in a charity shop. There was 12 for one pound. And I thought, hmm, could do something with that. And I'd seen a video about wrapping wool around basically anything metal. So I did have to buy the pink, the purple and the black wool because I didn't have the right colour wool in my box. But it was three balls for two pound. So overall, this cost me mm, three pounds, two, one pound and two pounds. But the frame I've used there is an old child's chalkboard frame. I took the board out of the centre and used that for something else. I already had the green wall in the box. Um, so I thought, yeah, wrap the frame in the same way as I've wrapped the coasters. I mean, the coasters could have been used again and again and again as coasters, but I like to think of new ideas to change things around, like give things a second life, make something new out of something old. So the back... Um, what I've done is I've stitched these coasters on. They've got two layers of black felt on there. The felt I got from the scrap store. And uh, I've got sticky back felt, so I've covered them over to cover up all the stitching. Um, the wire on the back, I'm not sure if I'm in shot there. The wire on the back um, that I've attached for hanging, I've covered that in green wool as well so that you can't see it when it's hung up on the wall so close up shop Woo. <laughs> can you see it mother can you see it so anyway this is what I do when I'm making art I look for any old rubbish that people have thrown away uh, look in my own bin sometimes for what I'm throwing away and try and think of an idea to make something out of recycled materials. There you are. Have a look at your rubbish. Have a look in other people's bins. Have a look in skips and see what you can find. If you want to make arts and crafts, build up yourself a little collection of materials that you think might be useful at a later date. As I say, some of my 
materials I might not use for maybe another year but if you want to be creative you need to collect collect your materials beforehand don't think of an idea of something you want to make and then go to the shop and buy something no get your materials first and then think of an idea for them this is me queen life after money i'm now going to get my breakfast <laughs> bye